Hey, my name is Matt Love, and I'm the lead student director here at Grace. Hey, I'm Jenny Love, and I'm an elementary art teacher. And we're here today to talk to you about how money has impacted our life. Uh, you know, we both grew up in the church and have heard pretty much every sermon you can imagine on money. If we're being honest, it kind of became white noise to both of us. We never really were good at managing money. Uh, we didn't really manage money God's way, um, but it started to become a real pain point in our relationship. Um, then we had our uh, daughter and we bought a house this past year and all of a sudden money became something that we couldn't ignore anymore. It got really bad at the end of one month this past summer when we realized, when we sat down and realized we were not going to be able to give back. It was a really, really hard moment. We had to have a tough conversation. We can't let this happen again. And unfortunately, we went through more house renovations that cost more than we were anticipating and we found ourselves again at the end of a second month not being able to give back. Um, that was really hard for us as a couple. There were lots of fights, lots of tears, and um, there was a lot of shame around that. Yeah, but it was in those moments, as tough as they were, that we also had this realization that God's grace was, was so strong in those moments because he was providing for us even though we weren't following him. He was, he was still providing, he was still taking care of us in ways that we didn't deserve. Uh, and I think we realized, man, we've really got to repent of the way that we've been managing our finances. We need to make a change because these lessons that we had been taught for our whole lives are finally becoming real. This money doesn't belong to us. It actually belongs to God. So we made some adjustments. Uh, we increased our giving to a more kind of uncomfortable level. We started giving at the beginning of the month instead of at the end of the month. And then we had to call some uh, places we owed bills to to change the due dates. That got complicated, but it worked. And then the thing that I think was the most helpful was having almost daily conversations about money, which I really don't like. Uh, it's not fun. I don't look forward to it, but it's been very helpful. But once we made those changes, we started to notice a few things. Since our giving increased and we started at the beginning of the month, we noticed that our money doesn't have that control over us or isn't that big of a burden anymore. And don't get us wrong, we still wish we had more, but it just doesn't carry that weight in our lives like it used to. Our communication as a couple has gotten a lot better. We started managing our money more as a team and it has strengthened our relationship in some really cool ways. And now also we're more excited to give. You know, being on staff, I kind of get this front row seat to seeing how our giving uh, to Grace Bible Church goes towards changing lives, kids, uh, teenagers, families, missionaries across the world, local outreach, and so much more. So for those of you who feel like talking about money is this scary thing, uh, we get it. It's, it's very vulnerable uh, to talk about money. But we believe and we've seen that when you open yourself up to not only just talking about it, but submitting how you manage it. To, to God's way, to God's will, there's actually more blessings for you on the other side of that. Yeah, and we'd encourage you to engage with this topic over the next few weeks. We, we believe and we know that God wants more for us than he does from us.